Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So I realized that I forgot to make an intro for this video. So I sat out here today where it's nice and pretty for once and not super, super cold to record this just to um, give you a little background of what we're going to be doing today. So I am going to be showing you our chicken soup recipe. So this is going to be an all day process. Um, I do have a simpler and faster way of making this like in a crock pot but today's recipe is going to be based on an all-day recipe and I can't wait for you guys to try it it's delicious it is my favorite wintertime soup and I really do think you guys will enjoy it so we're gonna cut to that video now so we're gonna start with your chicken breast I'm using split chicken breast you can also use a whole chicken you can use just regular chicken breast cut up chicken um, sections whatever you want to use um, so we're going to season this first. baking pan, roasting pan, whatever you want to put it in. We're going to throw it in the oven at 375 just until that skin is nice and crispy, golden brown, and the chicken is mostly cooked. It doesn't have to be cooked completely because we're going to be throwing it in our stock pot as soon as that skin is nice and crispy. So, throw those extra seasonings back on there. I have one section here that was covered by another piece, so I'm just going to throw a little bit of seasoning on that. And then we're going to throw it in the oven, let that cook for a little bit, and I'll show you what happens after that. While our chicken is cooking, we're going to go ahead and get our vegetables ready and peels and everything for our stock pot. So we're going to use about a pound of carrots. Um, we're going to peel them and cut them up, dice them up. Um, I'm going to use two and a partial onions, um, one celery stalk, whole stalk, and then I'm going to use um, about two to three tablespoons of garlic. So we're just gonna cut these up and then I'll show you how to put everything together. <laughs> two gallons of water. Okay. And then you're going to take all your scraps, so the celery, um, hearts, all your onion peels, 
even the sides that have the the tops and the root in. You can just add all that right in there, your celery stock. You just want to make sure that it's pretty clean. That way you're not adding dirt to your water. Your carrot peels, all of that in there. You're gonna let that, you know, just infuse to your water. Medium high heat while our chicken is cooking. And once our chicken is done cooking, we're gonna add our chicken to this and let that simmer down for probably about an hour and a half, roughly, just for all of those flavors to infuse into that stock, into that broth that we're gonna be having. So we're gonna cook this down and then we'll. Actually, let's go ahead and um, about half of our garlic. Okay, so I'll come back as soon as our chicken is ready. Okay, so I went ahead and took the chicken out of the oven. You can see it's just nice and roasted. Skin is nice and toasted on top. Golden brown, crispy, and you're just going to take that chicken, put it right into your stock pot. Right in there. Then I'm also going to take the juices from that chicken and pour it right in there. Now we're just going to let that cook for a little bit with the chicken in there, probably about 30, 45 minutes. And then we'll come back and continue adding the rest to it. Okay, so this is cooked for about an hour now. And all you're gonna do next is take out, oh, the chicken's falling apart off the bone. Take everything out of your broth. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our veggies. So our celery, so I've got about two cups of celery. Just gonna add that in. The remainder of our garlic. A little over two cups of carrots, a little over two cups of onions. Let's get all that in there. Give it a quick stir. Okay, and this is where you can add your salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna probably just yeah, sprinkle a bunch in there. We like our chicken soup a little peppery. Salt. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more of my oregano. And let that sit until those vegetables are soft. Um al dente that way it still a little has a little bit longer to cook um, before we put our chicken in so we're gonna let this cook for probably about another 45 minutes or so and then we'll cut back in with what's next
our chicken was added. Now we're just going to add our croissants in. And you can use any type of croissants, your buttery croissants, your regular croissants. Just add them in there. That's just one can. Okay, so those have basically dissolved. Now you're just going to take a pair of scissors, the other croissants, cut them up into, you know, smaller pieces, or you can use your hands as long as you, you know, tear it up. You're going to let this cook once you get all these in for about, you know, another 10 to 15 minutes just to kind of cook this dough. Cook for 30 if you really want your dough to be, you know, cooked and gone. Let's throw all that in there. If your soup gets thicker than what you would like, you can just Add some chicken broth to thin it out. that a little bit. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And it is complete. Let's see your dumplings, chicken, carrot, celery, onion, deliciousness. You've got your dumplings, carrots, your chicken. Mmm, delicious. And that is how you make a homemade chicken soup from scratch. Um, it does take a long time, but I do also have a quick crock pot recipe that I will be posting one day as well. So I forgot to make an outro as well. It's just, it's mommy brain. Having three kids all under six years old and the youngest being eight months, it's sometimes hard to remember to do everything. Well, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you can see all future videos.